Under the gun, used your shin, but he's shown a lot of heart in this event. Let's see how he does against Jason Shaw. Yeah. It was nice to see the faces in the lobby when the players were coming down out of the elevators. Conrad Wenselak. It's Guys, game day. We it's war. Like everyone has their like earphones yeah. in. You know, <coughs> little words said, few words said. Yeah, we were driving Chris over here. Jason Shaw was in Conrad reception. I said, do you want a lift? He said, yeah. He never said a word. He had earphones in, listened to his music. He's come in this venue pumped. He wants to win this title. You should shunt a break. And it's not a bad one. Doesn't look like he's going to get a shot, Alex. Oh, the five plays a little roll at the end of the rack. That may just make the safety shot a little easier than what it was going to be. Yeah, I'd be happy with this. So your pick to win Sanchez Ruiz. Um, yeah. You know, for how he has played the past 50 months and for how he's especially... Ooh, that's a lot of uh, And especially for how he's breaking in this event. You don't get to win all your matches as he did on day seven, you know, close to the finish line. He starts playing better. Where... Shaw won two out of four yesterday. Yushchishin and Peggy Line only won one out of four matches yesterday. Tells you something. I'm going to go for Jason. Not just because he's flutes a hook safety, kicking at that ball. I just think he's too good of a player to be in the situation he finds himself in. And listen, he's won a lot of pool tournaments, but the fact that you know, matchroom sport have come into the world of nine ball in the last Attention, please. two and a bit years. Obviously over COVID as well, so it's all been, it's all been a bit a bit messed up. The fact that they've come in, they're investing a lot of time, a lot of money into the sport. So the fact that he's yet to win an individual title in this arena, this you know, this type of setup, I just think he's too good not to win one. Agree. Good point. But it's a long day. Old stroke. And no contact you know, ball being pumped up. I'm not saying it's wrong, but it's going to be a long day of pool. Many matches. Yeah, can I take Please it back after that kick shot? Here's another look. Look at the cubal arc after the long rail. Doesn't matter who is at the table on the match room. TV table. Every tournament you see a couple of one rail kick shots missed like that. They know it slides, but then it slides just that bit more. A player that I am looking forward to see how he gets on today. Well, there's a few players, I won't lie, but one man stands out. It was the man who sat at the top of the table for quite a little bit. Young 21-year-old Sanjin. I want to see how he gets on today. He's, he's had a lot of the headlines this week, and today's a big day. As you said, Alex, you've spotted the players. Please it's game the day. Yeah, you know, it's been, a, it, it's been a, a book of many chapters and today the final chapter will be written, but every player has its story. Peglivanovic, how will he handle after coming off of cloud nine yesterday? Uh, Peglivanovic has played a lot of pool, pocketed many balls. Will he get close to his best game today? He'll need to. Needs to play close to his best and get the rolls to qualify. Thump this in. He's had two ninth place finishes in his campaign in Vegas before coming here. That's decent considering the fields. Conrad, your session wins the first rack. So Jason Shaw gave ball in hand up. Conrad played a good shot to knock a bad ball out. He takes the opener. Oi is playing Pelovanovic on the other table. Nukio is at the table. He's got three balls left. He's looking good to take the opener over there as well. 
Oi sits in fourth place on 15 points, the same amount of points as Shaw. Tagline is just below Oi in fifth. Everyone's going to be playing it's everybody. Six players are left. One everybody plays five matches. Top four make the semis. Yeah, and FSR are really in a good spot. Playing five matches. He's with one foot in the semi-finals, but he can't not allow himself to take his foot off the gas, make sure to qualify and not fall out of his concentration and his good habits. Long two ball. I think it goes. No, he's jumping. Hmm. Extension, please. Very aggressive, Shaw. Also, because he has an angle on the two, Cuba will travel to the left. Makes that six ball big. Wasn't far away. He won't mind where the ball's finished. It could have been a lot worse. Have another look. Yeah, just fired the two into the long rail. And the bump on the pink four has worked out OK. Combination onto the three is super, super difficult. Just because the three's not over the pocket. So he probably won't even attempt that. Is this some sort of two-way bank? Alex Technical. into the top left. Mm. Let me see. Difficult. It is difficult. Containing safeties, he has a couple of options, meaning to just protect the two. The cut to the pocket low right is very steep and needs to hit this crisp shot. Very nice. Yeah, this is what this match. He's going to be all about something about the left-handers in, in Q Sports, where they just seem to be the best potters. Look at that one. It was a beauty. Yeah, and I like his rhythm on that shot, how he prepared himself. He looks, considering the weight of this match, he looks calm. Controlled aggression. Thirty seconds for every shot. Hands that little gallop. How <coughs> many good Polish players? He's not. If you ask 100 pool fans who the best Polish player is, some would say Juszczyzin, but certainly not a majority. But it's the quality of the Polish players. They have so many top players. So good for Juszczyzin, he got the call. Good that he has performed as he has done. It's been great throughout the whole week. Connell Juszczyzin wins the second rack. Well, that was all about the two ball, wasn't it? Shaw went airborne, missed the pot. You should, could have played safe, decided to go for it. Don't blame him, he's sort of got to go for it because he sits in last place. He's in sixth spot on 13 points on his own on 13. Pagline's just above him on 14. And we've got a couple of players on 15, 16, and Ruiz on 18 alone at the top. Just lost six matches, Ruiz, in the end. The third rack. Yeah, big shot to take on. Leading with by the two risk of being well. called a cynic scrutinizer. You know, being pumped up, Jason Shaw, he missed that kick shot by quite the margin. Now took on a very difficult jump. Far from... Pushing the boat out. 
On the other hand, he's sticking to his guns. Oh, look at this. This is a generous split. You never know where the balls are going to land on the break shot. It's just the opening shot of the game, so all you can do is break the balls as best you can. Some days you have a shot on the lowest ball, some days you don't. But look, the three balls sitting down near the two, the pink falls over the pocket, the five to six easy, is easy. Yushishin looking good, but also helped by Shaw early in this match. So important to start the day good. Let's say Yushishin wins this match 5-1. What will that do to Shaw's mindset? And you're already chasing after your first match. Yeah, because we are playing group formats, a few times you play back-to-back -back matches, and that is the case here. Conrad's all about flair and confidence. If you beat Shaw big, he stays on to play Paga Lion. Ideal. And Paga Lion will be playing his first match. Paga Lion is just above Yushishin in fifth place. I'd be happy being Yushishin. So, looking to go 3-0. Can you say he has this match won, but still needs to win it? He's in a good place. 3-0 over Jason Shaw. Conrad Eustachian for Poland blitzes in the opening match. Jason Shaw to break, trailing 3 0. Better than never. It's a good run. Makes the one. Shape on the two, okay. Two balls down and an open position for Jason Shaw. It's all about cue ball control from here. So it checks out, keeps it flat, the cue ball. Interesting choice. Looking to play shots with authority, keep the stroke alive. We spoke about Peggy Lyon during the week. As Peggy Lyon emphasized that he's a cue ball player. Jason Shaw very much the opposite. Of course, he plays good position, but he plays more in zones. For him, it's important that he stays in a rhythm. Shot maker that he is. Jason Shaw wins the ruck. Keep the game flowing. That's a very speedy break and run. First wreck on the board on day eight. Yeah, talking of speedy. New Q is on the opening two. Pelovanovic. Couple of days, Pelovanovic was at the top of the table. If he wins this, still early days, he goes level <coughs> with Sanjin on points. Break five. Gonna have to the break. Leading 3 1. <sighs> a 
it's not a surprise to me. Because the thing is, that first 3-0 is a blitz. Yeah, vroom, vroom, vroom. He gets open shots. Then a little commercial break, a break and run by Shaw, and then the match changes. Yeah, he's in a winning position, and then he's, he's defending his position. Because it is skill making that one ball in the side. He was doing so before. It's just pressure. Throughout the day, we'll see in big wrecks, big moments, players having difficulty to track that one towards the side. A lot of right spin. This will swerve. Not as much as he would have liked. A little fuller on the one would have been better. Big shot coming up for Jason. You expect him to pot these, but they're always a little tricky. Yes, played it at the right pace. Knew if he caught the rail, it would slide in. Has he been fortunate there? I mean, it's going to be very thin, but he didn't want to bump that five ball, did he? Yeah, for me, he's, he's gone in this, and it's easy for me yeah, to judge, but it seems to me that he's gone in too pumped. Go, go, go. Looking for that gear. I mean, he's still there, he can run out. But he needed luck with his position on the four. know play in rhythm when you can and a, li a little slower when you must okay he's going to be drawing the cue ball back got to make sure he gets past this nine he'll come over to the side rail yeah, just like that. Needs the cue ball to bounce. Got a bit of an angle. Mm. To rip it. Nice. Nicely done. He's chasing the rack. Yeah. But after his positional loss on the three since then since that four ball he's playing a little bit slower dry jason break shaw by used to a steal from jason shaw and he'll break in break six he's back in the game that's how quick it goes yeah this point last year jason shaw qualified for the semi-finals he took a top four spot and he finished in fourth position on 17 points. So at this stage, he'd won 17 out of his 29 matches. Rack six. Jason Joshua Short Filler break. finished top Trailing by three racks of the two. table last year before the semi-finals. He won 20 matches out of his 29. Ruiz has a chance to beat that record. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Sweet. Straight on the two. Stop shot for position on the three. It's a cruel game. And I'm saying that from Eustachian's perspective. The only thing he's done wrong is a dry break. And that kick shot on the one where he left Jason Shaw straight in. Yes, this is the beauty of nine ball. One minute, the sport, the, you know, the game of pool can help you, meaning you're getting shots off the break. And then for the next three racks, it's all gone your opponent's way. And this is why it's it's very nervy out there, isn't it, Alex? This is why a pool player goes through crazy emotions at the table because 
at any given moment, you can just lose the match or you might have to step up and knock a finish in from nowhere to win a match. It's a little bit like poker in that you can lose on the river on the last card. You're never safe. And in the same way, in the chair, you're never out of it. You always have to stay within the rails with your mindset. Well, Conrad went through this last night, didn't he, when he played Woodward? He was well up in the match. Woodward come back to 4-3. He missed a shocker on the four ball. And Yushishan got the win. He knows only too well what this is all about. Nice. Nice stroke there. Found his rhythm. Jason Shaw. And there it the is. Rack. He lost the opening three racks, but Eagle Eye Jason Shaw has won the next three. We're tied at 3-3. Three, three. The All right. seventh rack. Used to shin. Three racks each. Time to bounce Not back. To session the break. Be hard headed in this game. Stubborn. Oy, oy, oy. Nice roll. Look at that. <laughs> the table is facilitating both players. Crazy this. <coughs> tink, tink. Three kisses to get in position on the two. Just checking. It's vital to have the the picture, mental picture of the shot, hundred percent clear. Slight distraction. You still make the ball, but hit it thick, and then be on a funny angle, close to the rail. Funny game this, especially on the speed cloth. Sliding cue ball. Very little grip between the balls. that it looked easy after the break is the trap that's the trap in practice he'd run out 29 from 30 this is where it counts just like penalties you can practice penalties <laughs> but it's all about doing it when you're out there yeah and Jason will also know that he was three down in this match so but three down, sat in your chair, Alex, you would take four three down, wouldn't you, in any match? Come on, your session. Wins the right. A timely break and run. And Conrad Yushin, he needs this win. He currently sits in sixth place. He's playing right after against Pegulain. Correct. Yushin is. I said... That that's a good thing, especially if he wins. And especially if he overcomes, if he wins this match, having overcome Jason Shaw's fight back. So there was a scenario possible where he would win 5-1. No pressure, just cruising. But I would feel better yeah, having a Jason little cruise, break. fight back from Shaw, be mentally strong, win it from there. Then I would feel even more ready for the next match. Well, someone who does need a fight back, Pelovanovic, we've just seen it on our screen. Four racks to zero down against Oi. Shaw's going to get a shore on the 
the shot on the two ball rather three balls open four balls over the side this has been all about the break this match yeah and a very willing two ball i haven't seen a match like this yet yeah you know what's going to happen in the last rack conrad's going to break the balls are going to all go ugly i'm going to have a monster safety rack or not but likely on a hill hill case game so often slightly off angle will he chip it in or go to the top rail may go no he's just rolled it in that's okay he's not scared of leaving a little bit of distance he's jason he'll always back himself to pop the ball Spent four days in Sheffield leading up to this event. Working with Steve Feeney, site right coach. You're also a site right coach, Alex. Yeah, I was disappointed I didn't get the call. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, Good but point. <laughs> the, the thing is, he worked for three days. And, and snooker with Feeney is about the basics. Doing the same thing every time, being consistent. So why would Jason go to a snooker coach? Um, because... Technically, that's where his background is, and he believes in a technical, in a, in a snooker style setup, being square onto the ball, don't use too much side, keep your stroke and your delivery compact. Table two, always at the table. Sending's going through a bit of a, a slump. Yeah, will be difficult to stop the rot. Imagine he loses 5-1, 5-0, and then opens his, his phone after the match, opens his phone and gets like 12 messages saying, it's okay, you know, it's okay, you'll be fine. And people trying to comfort you, but basically they're saying, it's not going well, don't worry. Cue ball? Cue ball, though, the cue ball. I'll tell you what, they're both playing a lot of balls on the break. Unbelievable. Will he jump? It's an easier jump than what Jason Shaw played. Coming to the table with his jump cue. Pool. Sanjin is still alive in that match on table two. Oh, he missed the seven ball. He's now 4-1. Push out called. Push out called. Oh, he's giving shot. No. Hmm. Funny, Your interesting. Choice, so the jump still on, but he pushed the three ball in position. So now it's value attacking the two ball. Extension, please. I, I wouldn't have the heart to play this push because you know he's going to play it. So you know you have to get back to the chair, sit, and suffer. Anxious moments for Eustachin. Bluff called by Shaw. Shaw's going airborne. He's flying high. What a shot he's played there. Stop shot as well. He's on the three ball. You called it, Alex. I would... Yeah, it's... And... It, I'm not sure when Yushishin went back to the chair if he was still convinced of his decision. Listen, it was a great jump shot as well. It wasn't easy. He had distance. It was going in the pocket at, at that angle where you can't hit it too hard as well. Yeah, but you don't want to give your opponent a, I know. a shot where he wins the wreck. I know. I'm just not taking any away, anything away from the shot, that's all. Yeah, it was a good shot. And a good win. Hey, hey, 3-0 down. Yeah. Big win for Shaw, a big loss for Eustachin. And now, having led 3-0, he has to play directly hereafter. Yeah, you were talking about he's going to be feeling good going into his next match. He's not going to be feeling good now because this nine ball... 
Right but a fantastic match. comeback Jason Shaw. from Scotland's Jason Shaw. He was three down in that match. He sits at third in the table. He wins five racks to four.